Angie asks, since the Northbridge chipset is now incorporated into the CPU, is it something that's relevant anymore? Is it something we need to know about? Is it even something that's worth worth studying? Um, and it's a valid question, Angie, because obviously the Northbridge that used to be a chip, you could look at it on your motherboard. The, the Northbridge, really, your memory controller, it handles taking requests from the CPU, finding the information in memory, grabbing that information, and providing it back to the CPU. It's effectively a middleman between all of those pieces. So there's, there's a, a nice thing to think about there is if I could take that single chip and I could now stick it onto the CPU itself, it's that much faster. That's exactly what Intel has done is if you look at their latest version of their Ivy Bridge chips, it's a very good example of this, of taking the Northbridge that used to be this physical chip and simply putting the memory controller right on the CPU itself. Intel's trying to put everything on the CPU. If you also look at that Ivy Bridge, you'll notice the video controller is on the CPU. They just take all these things that used to be on your motherboard and just slid them right into the CPU. Now, obviously, that Northbridge is an extremely important part of that conversation. And the functionality of the Northbridge still exists. That memory controller function is a separate piece. If you looked at the die of that particular chip, there's a whole section just set aside to be the memory controller. And that's why we still talk about the North Bridge or that memory controller function in our block diagrams of a computer because the function is still there. We didn't get rid of it just because we stuck it on a CPU. It's just much smaller, and it's inside a different piece of equipment, a different chip itself. But it's performing effectively the same functionality for us. The advantage, of course, is because it's on the CPU, it's not a separate chip. It's not limited by any bus that's on your computer. It's much faster. It's much more efficient. It now can talk directly to memory, and memory talks directly into the primary CPU of your computer, making it perform that much faster.